So you can see right here, we're backed up to it. Okay, so I set up the app on my phone. I'll go ahead and it says to plug it in. So we'll go ahead and release it here. This is what the charger looks like. Make sure there's no problems. Kind of line it up. Doing it left-handed and I'm right-handed, so there we go. All right, so we have it in place. It says start charge. Now it's saying initial initiating here. Still initiating. All right, we're just showing the battery percentage there, active power, energy delivered, and charging time. I hear these machines over there making a bunch of noise. I'm assuming they're part of this charging system. And we are charging. All right, let's look in the vehicle here. All right, so it's showing 35 minutes to 100%. So that's pretty fast, 130 uh, kilowatt. So 12 minutes to 80%. So we're going up quite quick. All right, it's continuing to climb. Uh, we've eight minutes in, no, eight minutes to 80% and 31 minutes to 100%. And the actual charge right now is 59%. So really not that long. I mean, uh, with the, the rate of charge at 135 kilowatts, and that's not even the fastest charger. Um, this one is rated 150, but I'm getting 135. Uh, but you can actually get up to 350 with this vehicle. So you can really quickly get a charge. Look how fast our range is going up. You can actually see the miles being added. Okay, so we're almost at 80%, and it's actually, the, the charge rate is getting higher and higher. Uh, it's above 141, 140, anyway, kilowatts. Uh, so yeah, we're at 80% now. It took 23 minutes. No, it took, uh, well, it's 23 minutes until 100%. So we're gonna stop here. You can see it's lowering down a little bit here. Because uh, once it reaches 80%, it kind of lowers it down. So we're at a, we're at 80%. I think that's good. All right. So now we're 83%. Charging time 15 minutes. Active power 101 right now. Energy delivered 33 kilowatt hours delivered. All right. So let's go ahead and hit the stop. We can use the app, or we can hit this right here. Go ahead and stop. Charging stopped, 15 minutes, energy delivered. All right, so now we can unplug it. Press the button here, release it. All right, now we'll go ahead and put this on here. Put that back. Close her up. So using the fast charger, I was able to get about 100, a 265 miles range total. Uh, started with 144, so it's about a 120 miles added. Um, now you notice here that I got charged $14.58, energy usage 33.25 kilowatt hours. 
Now, 33 is an interesting number uh, because when testing electric vehicles for fuel economy, the United States EPA uses standard of uh, 115,000 BTUs of energy per gallon, which converts to 33.7 kilowatt hours. So 33.7 kilowatt hours is a gallon of gas. So I spent $15 for a gallon of gas, but there's more to the story uh, because typically you wouldn't take a vehicle, put a gallon of gas and be able to drive 120 some miles with that gallon of gas. So the saving grace here with that energy conversion is that I'm able to, the, the, the efficiency of the electric vehicle makes it cost effective um, in, in a, in a, to some degree. Um, so you can see right here, this is the ratings here because the, I had it in sport mode and different things like that that was kind of giving me a skew as far as the actual um, miles and all that stuff. But this is what the, what the window sticker says anyway. So it's, it's giving it 140 miles per gallon uh, for like a conversion. So, but still, uh, that would be about, with the price of gas right now, about five gallons of gas. So depending on how efficient uh, your 120 miles, depending on how efficient your vehicle is, as far as the gas, the gas might be more cost effective, you know. Uh, so, you know, something to consider with electric vehicles. Now, this is an expensive charger, uh, charge rate. It's in the middle of the day. It's probably the more expensive one, or really, the mo it's the only one around my place. But um, to give you an idea of, you know, there, I'm sure there's cheaper ones. Uh, so this one is charging, uh, is 41 cents, I think it is what it charges, 41 cents per kilowatt hour. But but yeah, anyways, something to consider. You wanna do, do the conversion and all that stuff. Now this is fast charging. At home, it's gonna be a totally different price, totally a different deal. You can have real cheap gas in the middle, of, or not gas, but electricity in the middle of the night. Um, so that's a whole nother topic. This is for fast charging only and how you know, going to a gas station versus fast charging, you really have to watch out for the price um, and all that stuff. So if you're trying to save money on your actual driving, you know, electric cars are more expensive than gas vehicles. Um, and if it's going to be about or more expensive to actually drive it regarding the energy, whether it be gas or electricity, then it's not, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And so... And, and, and then subsidies, you know, is not a solution to that, in my opinion. 